Hey, and welcome back engineers. Today we come to one of the most important topics in this whole series. I think every one of you has had this scenario before. You log into your world or your server and your machines or contraptions, which have worked perfectly the last time you logged off, break completely. I've had this issue so many times myself that I needed to think about a solution. The principle you will master today is called fail-proof constructing of machines or contraptions, which basically means you can build machines that fix themselves. Let's get going. Okay, to get started, this is our little cobblestone generator we built in the last episode. In case you have missed that, I will link it to you in the upper right hand corner of this video so you can watch it. As you can see, our machine is clearly in a wrong state. Let's see what will happen if I actually run our program. Well, that's cool. Maybe not that cool. Our machine is useless now. Nice. So, all our lava sources just turned into obsidian and yeah, we can't do anything with that now. So let's see how to fix that. In case you guys wonder when does this error actually happen, you just have to lock off in the right moment and this moment comes right now. If I would hit save and quit to title right now, our program would terminate, our computer shuts off and our dispensers will still emit the water, dispense the water the next time we log on and this is how to re reproduce this error. Okay, to fix our water problem we would need some kind of sensor to actually get information about the state our water mechanism is in. So to actually know is our water dispensed right now or is it retracted? This is what we're gonna do now. The most basic sensors we have in Create are these redstone contacts, you may know them. For those who don't know them, these just emit a redstone signal once two of them make contact. As you can see here, now the redstone link behind there is actually high. This one transmits data to this one which receives it and if we attach this one to a computer we can actually read this side and know okay these two are touching right now we can act based upon that information to solve our water problem here and to actually read data from our water mechanism we make use of the mighty comparator we can't use redstone contact blocks for that we mainly use these for moving things for moving components of our machines. In this special case, we use the comparator to actually read the state of our dispenser or the contents of our dispenser. In our special case, the comparator outputs a signal strength of two if our water bucket is filled inside of here and it will output a signal strength of one if our water bucket is empty, which means that our water is being emitted. Okay, so let's hook this up to our computer. I will just input a frequency like that and come to our little computer, attach a redstone link, input the frequency so these two can speak with each other and make this a receiver. Okay, all that is left is that we actually need to get this sensor reading inside of our program so we can actually act based upon the reading and get rid of all the errors. Let's see how we can do that. Okay, inside of our computer we will edit our little program and the first thing we'll do is to actually add another variable which we will assign the side our watch sensor is placed on. This is the front side of the computer. So, as you may see, water side is back and water sensor side, we should call it, I think, is at the front of the computer. And we would also need to introduce another variable called water status, which is equal to false for now. Okay, 
Now we need a function for actually reading our sensor and updating our little variable we just introduced here. So we will call this function read sensors or read sensor. And we want to update our watch status based upon the reading. And for the reading, we will use redstone dot get input and we will just plug in our side here our side is the water sensor side if you're wondering you could just as well write front in here that will result in the same thing but as we defined this before we will use water sensor side okay now we have our water status in our program and now we need another function to actually do something with that okay the function we will write now is some sort of a startup routine to actually detect errors and eliminate them so we call a function startup routine what should our startup routine do so our startup routine at first needs to read the sensor actually so we have an a actual value that corresponds to the, the machine and it's not just false. After we have read the sensor, we basically want to act based on, on the information we have gotten from this. So let's say if our water status is equal to false, what should the program do if the water status is false? The water status is false if water is emitted. Okay, and, and this is clearly wrong at the start of the program. Water shouldn't be emitted once the program starts or this will lead to this outcome and I think nobody wants that. So let's see. If our water status is false, what we need to do is we would actually need to simulate a button press. See, if I press this button right here, the water gets retracted. And this is what we want to simulate with our little program. So we will do it like this. This is what we've done last time to actually act on our components. So we will just say redstone.setOutput water side true. Then we will sleep a second. And after that, we will say redstone set output water side false and sleep another second to let the water retract let's have a look again at first we read our sensors we update our water status to the current status of of our dispensers if our water status is equal to false then we know water is emitted this will actually break our contraption so we have to act we simulate a button press to reset the dispenser and to retract our water. We do this with these lines. Redstone.setOutput water side true. Sleep one second and set it to false. And sleep another second. Okay, so to actually use this in our program, just before our while loop, in front of it, just call startup routine. Okay, to actually use this in our program we have to call this function at some point and we will do that right before our program loops right here we'll call startup routine and this should be it let's reset these dispensers real quick we will get rid of this obsidian hope we don't ever see it again in this machine at least this and let's set it to uh, error state and now let's just run our program and see what happens as you have seen the machine fixed itself it retracted the water in the beginning and now it just goes on with the normal program loop Okay, engineers, task completed successfully. 
our cobblestone generator now detects errors and acts based upon that information so we don't have to bother with broken contraptions anymore and our cobblestone income is secured. This might have not seemed like much but trust me this is one of the most critical parts when constructing your machine so you don't have to worry about any failures, any errors. Your machine will fix itself and your head will be free for other creative stuff. In the next episode we are going to have a more in-depth look on sensors and we will read actual data from Box, not just a redstone signal. With this data we can control our machines even more precisely and visualize it and yeah. Stay tuned for this and until then, thank you for watching and stay engineering.